Right answers are in hard to find places. I direct the Mighty Lab, which is the materials in high temperatures and extreme environments lab. So this might include high temperatures, high radiation fields, high mechanical stresses, and sometimes all of these at the same time. We can come up with new materials that can better withstand these environments for future nuclear reactors. I get to be at the forefront of what is public knowledge and be able to push that a little bit further. Our lab group is so collaborative and the work culture is really amazing. There are very few facilities that can do what we're trying to do. We get to ask really fun engineering questions like, how well does this seal hold up at 800 Celsius? We do some really unique work with salt corrosion that no one else is doing in the world. There's a lot of people working on a multitude of different projects and there's a lot of crossover. So I think that's a really important skill to be part of the Mighty Labs to be able to collaborate with other researchers. I wanted something that was very hands-on and involved. You know, I don't mind doing the occasional computer work, but I didn't want to sit behind a computer all day. I get to take out my violent tendencies on samples in the lab. <laughs> Ideas are welcomed over here. Even I find that UG students has sometimes better ideas than a PG and even postdoc. If you don't have curiosity, then don't come. Whatever you want to learn, you can join the main lab and everyone is friendly, you can ask everyone, get a different feedback and uh, train yourself. Here we have the equipment for making materials, but we also have a lot of the equipment for testing them, which is not as common. We have things like the Michigan Ion Beam Laboratory for simulating radiation damage. We have equipment for testing materials at the high temperatures and in the environments we expect to see them in service. It just feels awesome to use these machines. Like it, it feels like I'm channeling the power of the elements to make new materials. The science we do has a bigger purpose. We're looking for students who want to save the world. Making things, breaking things, until we eventually make things that nobody else has made before. Here in Mighty Lab, we are ready to build from scratch. You can basically build your future here. In the Mighty Lab, we not only tackle hard problems, we tackle the hardest problems. We're looking at molten salts, we're looking at high pressures, uranium, we're looking at you know beryllium. There's just a mountain of things you need to do to do these very dangerous, very complex experiments. And we tackle that problem and we do it successfully. There isn't really a boring experiment to be had. These techniques and these materials, they're gonna pave the way for future ideas and hopefully future innovations in, in nuclear power. Our job as nuclear materials scientists is to design new materials that unleash the imaginations. We challenge what can be done. And sometimes that's tough, but we do it because we can.